What is up gamers? I've had a lot of requests on how to install these mods for Marvel 3 and I'm going to go over that today and coincidentally as I started recording this video. So this is only for PC. Uh, it's only sold on Steam as far as I know. I just happened to log in and they've got a Marvel sale going on. So uh, this goes through uh, March 3rd, 2022. So if you're on the fence about this game, if you don't have it on Steam yet, right now is a good chance to pick it up cheap. Um, Marvel 3 is $7.49. This is Ultimate Marvel. It's got all the DLC. And uh, Marvel Infinite's for sale too, you know, if you're into that. So, uh, if you're like me, if you're planning and hoping on getting the Steam Deck, uh, now's a good time, even if you don't have something reliable to play this on. It's a good way to load up your Steam Deck. And in general for Steam, it's not a bad idea to get a wish list going, just save everything. If it goes on sale like this, you'll get an email. And, you know, this isn't an ad, I'm just trying to save you some money. Uh, if you're like me, you've probably purchased some of these games multiple times, uh, especially the fighting games. I've got them for multiple consoles at this point. Anyways, uh, back to the mods themselves. So, the first step, well, let's break it down. There's basically three steps. The first one is acquiring the mods. They're pretty much all on this one website, GameBanana.com. And step two is going to be extracting the files to your hard drive. And then you're going to copy those files to the Marvel 3 folder. And, uh, and also I would add with that, you do want to keep a backup of your Marvel folder uh, just for the ease of starting over. You don't have to, but uh, it does help things, you know, it does help smooth things out. Anyways, so GameBanana.com. Uh, slash games slash 5808. I'll put all these links in the description, but that's the direct uh, URL to get to Marvel. And as you can see, they have a lot of stuff on here. And uh, they organize it by how new it is. So they actually had a few new things come out since I've last uh, recorded. Classic Thanos, uh, I'm down with that. So I I've pre-selected a few things here, just to show you how you get them. And not everything is a character mod. I, I picked a few different things just to go through those as well. This one just came out. Somebody made a new menu system. This one's not anything earth shattering. It just changes the uh, backgrounds to the menus, which is cool. If you're using the mods, I like them. I'll, I'm gonna get this and install it. Um, and in a few cases, we've got extra stages. Uh, you may have noticed the watcher stage. Uh, it's the one a lot of people use. Uh, the uh, comic aesthetic Thanos just came out, so I prefer that look myself, you know, to each of their own, but I'm definitely getting this. And uh, we've got some other skins. We've got <clears throat> Miles from Th Phoenix Wright. Uh, I just picked a few at random here. This one I do want to install. I messed up and had to start over so currently i don't have uh in bison and urian installed so we'll, we'll do that but uh let me go back here so it's a pretty basic layout you just click the mod that you want it'll go to its own little page uh just click download and it's going to go to the uh you know wherever you set your downloads to go so just keep track of that um I've already downloaded all of these. I'm just kind of doing this as a part of the demonstration. So the next step is to extract the files and copy them over the existing ones. So what I recommend doing, the easiest way, if you're, you know, especially if you're using Steam, and it's probably the only way you're doing it right now, um, find Marvel 3 in Steam, right click, go to Manage, and then go to Browse Local Files. And when you do that, that's going to take you straight to the game folder. So once you've pulled that folder up through Steam, or you know directly, however you prefer, you may even want to save a uh, shortcut to it to your desktop if you're in there a lot. Uh, I, I did that recently. So anyways, you're going to go to where your downloads are. And uh, this one, this uh, mouse swap, that's the uh, M. Bison and Urian uh, mod. So I'm just going to extract files. And I've actually, I've already done that. So you would extract them to the folder. 
And the most important thing on the game side, native PC x64. That's where all, pretty much all of the files are gonna be. And that's the folder you wanna back up if you wanna easily restore this to stock. I would recommend it because you could get a mod that screws everything up or you could overwrite one mod with another and it's just easier to go back to square one. But that's the folder that's going to be uh, overwritten in most cases. So uh, mouse swaps, that's the uh, one I want to replace right now. So this one, this one's you know very well done, very well laid out. So a lot of times they have a readme file and it'll have the, the directions right in it. Uh, so he's already got the uh, folder structure here. So the native PC X64, all you're gonna do is drag that in your Marvel 3 Steam folder. And it's gonna ask about replacing the files in the destination. Say yes, that's gonna copy over them. And it's good. One thing to be careful about, uh, just when you, when you copy this over, so like, see what I'm doing here? I'm holding it on the same folder name. And what I did right there is I actually copied it into this, the same folder. Uh, that's an easy mistake and that will prevent the mods from working because that's not the right location. So just be well aware of that. That's the easiest thing to mess up. And you're gonna do the same thing uh, for all of them. So I'm gonna put in all the new menus here. Same thing, native PC. We're going to replace all these files one by one or folder by folder. Let's see, Catalox Island. Uh, okay, we'll come back to this one. The, the stages are a little, this one's a little more involved. Um, and this one, this one has bare minimum documentation. This is the Thanos mod. So it's only the character uh, ARC file. So in, the, in these cases, sometimes they'll have a readme, but what you want to do, go to native PC x64, chr for character, archive, and see all these numbers looks, you know, same pattern. Uh, you may find some that are like this. Uh, the pattern actually means something. The uh, first set of numbers, the 0019, that's uh, Hagar's number. And 04 is uh, color five. It's uh, it starts with uh, zero, so zero zero is color one, and so forth. So we're gonna uh, copy this over. I believe I have the MVCI Th Thanos in that slot, so it's gonna overwrite that one, I believe. And <clears throat> on that note, it's not a bad idea to keep a, a notepad or something with uh, the mods you've installed, because it is very easy to lose track of what you've put in, so you can make a list of all these character numbers, what character slot you've got the mod in. Because as of right now, each character slot uh, and each color slot, uh, they're just static. They can't add new, they, the new roster doesn't get new uh, character slots. We have to just use the alt colors. And you can eventually run out of room. There's other limitations, hopefully that's being worked on right now. But as of right now, that's, uh, that's pretty much what you have to do. So another thing I, I like to do and this may be a problem unique to my setup. Um, most of my games are on an external drive. So I close Steam down completely. Just, uh, it seems like it may cache something. Uh, when I don't do that, it doesn't always, uh, um, the mods don't always stick. So I'm just gonna do that, restart Steam, and then we'll try. It'll give it a, give it a, <clears throat> So I'm just going to restart Steam and then we're going to run through these and make sure everything installed correctly. Okay, so we've got Marvel launched. The new menus have definitely installed. We can see those here. That's pretty cool. Like the uh, Thanos Iron Man chat out there. So I'm just going to open it up in training mode. And just make sure all these mods actually worked. So, uh... <clears throat> Remember, they're all alt colors, so once they've been installed, that's where you want to keep track of where you put each one. So we know... Okay, I thought it was four, but Comic Thanos, 
It's uh, number five. That's the importance of keeping track of where these are. I wish there was an easier way. Uh, right now, there's not. There we go. Again, could not remember where Irian was. Uh, he's working. I know. Bison is scroll alt. So those are pretty straightforward. You can see the the character portrait. Not all of those have that. And that's another reason that having a list is important. Um, like I know I've got one on Doctor Doom number two. Um, let's see, Phoenix four. I know that's an alt. Uh, let's see. I'll just pick one for fun here. Do Captain Falcon. So these are all going to be modded characters here. Let's make sure everything works. All right, so so we see Thanos is working uh, despite not having a character portrait. The uh, cell version of Doctor Doom, he's there. And, whoops, wrong one. We've got Captain Falcon working. And we've got the Wendy's version of Phoenix. And just one last thing to check here. All right, so he's working just fine. They actually fixed the glitch that a lot of people noticed. Uh, if you had uh, Shienko's Japanese dialogue, set to default, uh, his voice would not work, so that's why he sounded like a girl. So, as long as you can see the characters, it appears that everything's working. And I'm going to show one more thing, just one more little caveat to these mods. Okay, so one major caveat I want to point out with these mods. You may notice on player one side, I picked all the original characters that these mods were built on. Uh, you can see by the names up top who was built on who. So Cyclops being built on Sea Viper. Uh, picked her first on player one. I picked, well, all three on player one side I picked first. Player two, I picked all those after. But when you pick the same character file, uh, it's going to default to the move set of the first one that got picked. So you may notice Cyclops' stance. He's uh, he's not Cyclops. He's uh, still has his optic blast. Uh, a little sassy though. But so as you can see, the modded characters have the original characters' move set, just because they were the ones picked first. And this works both ways. If I'd picked uh, the modded characters first, then all of the non-modded characters they would look like the original, but they would play like the new move sets. And as of right now, I don't think there's a way around that. So playing playing two-player mode may be a little iffy in some situations. And just one last thing to leave on, because everybody loved how Irian sounded in the first one. Yeah. He's built on a Chinese ghost girl. <laughs> okay, so that's all there is to it. So just to reiterate, Game Banana, that's where you get the mod files. And inside of Steam, Manage... Browse local files. This is where the files you download will be extracted. And possibly optional step, close down Steam, reopen it. Mods should be working then. And I guess the last note I'll leave on is there is a subreddit, uh, r slash Marvel mods. Uh, decent amount of news and how to's. Uh, worth joining to keep an eye on. Uh, definitely bookmark that and Game Banana, this one. So if you go to the main Marvel page for it, you will see updates periodically. I recommend, you know, if you're into this, check it every few days. And I, that's what I do. I didn't know these were out until today. Uh, additionally, 
keep an eye on Steam. If, if you're watching this video after uh, March 3rd, 2022, always wishlist games that you're thinking about getting. They inevitably go on sale, especially the Capcom games. Uh, I picked up Marvel 3 Black Friday, either 2020 or 2021. It's usually about seven bucks. It's an easy way to get it cheap. Uh, and you can get other games too. I just picked up Ultra Street Fighter 4, actually. Uh, I think it was also like 750, something like that. Uh, which I, you know, I've owned that for a long time, but I didn't have it on Steam, and I want to try the mods for that. And also, with Steam Deck coming out, you know, not a bad one to have either, along with Street Fighter 5. But uh, I guess that's all I have. Uh, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, just uh, hit me up in the comments. I'll, I can help you out. And uh, good luck on this. Have fun. I wanna take you for